Hello, my name is Karx82 and welcome back to my Greg Block tutorial series. Today I'm going to be going over the Pyroless Oven. This is a multi-block and it is used for turning wood into different items and fluids that are quite useful. Um, this is an MV tier. So if we look at the recipe, we can see it uses MV circuits and MV components. So let's just jump right in and start building this. Now, to start, you're going to use the uh, ULV machine casings. So we'll just do a ring of those. And on the back of it, we'll do another ring. Now, the oven goes in the central computer goes in the middle and then we also need coils now there's different types of coils here cooper nickel canthal nichrome etc but you can only use the cooper nickel on this multi-block so all the other ones won't work so we'll do two rings of those and if we look on the inside it is hollow in this in the center. Now we will throw a input hatch on the back of it. I believe you can replace any of the casings with the input hatch if you want. So if you want you could have it down here but I'm just going to put it on the back um, for this demonstration. Now as we can see it did form the multi-block invalid structure and that is because we do not have any hatches or input buses. So to put items in it we're going to need an input bus and an input hatch and you can replace any of these casings with these. So if you want we have the input hatch hatches right there. I said if you want you can put them up here or you can even put them back here if you want. Um, but yeah there's my input hatch and input bus. Actually I'm going to I'm going to put the inputs on the left hand side and the outputs on the right side here. All right, there we go. And we, as we can see, we can formed so we know everything is set up. And then since I put an MV hatch on the back, it accepts the MV power. Now, what this machine does is take. Um, usually takes wood. Let's pull up the recipes for this. It takes wood with a circuit and sometimes it takes fluid and turns it into charcoal and a byproduct. And as we can see there's six pages of recipes, so 12 recipes and it does different things. You can even do sugar to charcoal dust and water. Um, I haven't really found any sort of a use for this. I mean, maybe if you want to make gunpowder or something like that. Uh, but yeah, so let's get this powered up. I guess I will do, um, we'll do a diesel gen. Just that is one of the easier ones. So I'll do MV. We'll put it on the back like that. Turn the output, and then let's just fill this with diesel. Alright, so that is producing power. Alright, so this is powered up and let's just go ahead and throw some wood in here. We'll do oak. Now we can just throw that in there, input bus, and as we can see it is not turning on. And the reason for that is because all these recipes require a circuit. So it tells you whichever one you want to do, you have to put a circuit in the machine. So if I want to just do wood, so charcoal, and free salt, I have to put a program circuit with a zero on it. So let's just grab one of those. I believe it already has circle. Yeah, zero. So we just put that in there, and there we go. It turns on. 
Um, at MV power, it is not super fast, but obviously as you increase the power, the input hatch, the faster it's going to get. So we'll just wait for this to finish. There we go. So you get your 20 charcoal and your creosote and easy enough. Now you can also, if you want, all these recipes will do a more efficient version. So we get 20 charcoal for creosote there. This one does 20 charcoal and four creosote. But if we add nitrogen to this, as we can see in 400 nitrogen, it'll do it in under half the time. Um, but it does require a little more EU per tick. But because the um, because it's going faster, as we can see, it's actually you actually use less EU per tick. So let's go ahead and just throw some nitrogen in there. And we're going to need some more oak because this goes through it pretty quick. Let's just grab a few stacks here. All right, so we have the oak, we have the circuits, but then now we're noticing, okay, we have room for this. That is actually, this one's actually full. So let's, um, oops, not that, uh, empty cell, there we go. All right, so there we go, it is turned on. And it's going, but as we can see, it didn't use any of the nitrogen. And the reason for that is because we need to change the circuit. So if you have just the zero, it'll just continue to do this recipe. So you have to change it to the uh, one. So you just right click on the circuit and then give it the number. Throw that in there. And as we can see, it's now going faster and it has used some of the nitrogen. All right, so we get our charcoal and then our creosote. Now, another uh, good recipe for the pyrolis oven here is um, you can do oil. You can produce heavy oil um, with wood, which can be uh, distilled into... Um, a more efficient kind of version for if we look at the heavy oil in the distillery, you get 200 heavy fuel from it, you get 45 um, light fuel, sulfuric naphtha, sulfuric gas for 150. If we look at, say, raw oil in the distillation tower, so 100 raw oil only gets you 15, 50, 20, and 60. So heavy oil it does definitely have its uses. If you want to set up the chain for this, um, you do get a lot more byproducts from the heavy oil. Um, but if we looked at the recipe again, the heavy oil recipe, which is just 16 wood, these are all 16 woods in the machine. The heavy oil actually requires HV power. And obviously, to do that, I'm just gonna break that. We have to put a HV energy hatch. And there we go. And now we can see it is max EU HV power. Now you can actually, if you want, you actually don't need to do an HV hatch if you want. You can actually do, I believe, Say you can do two MV hatches if you want. And now this is doing HV power. Um, but since the hatches can input, if we look at this input average up to two. So two times 512 is 1024. And then now we're doing four of this. So four times 128 is. 512. So there are different ways to 
uh, power the multi-blocks. Um, what I find the easiest is just to do one of the tier that we're looking for. So let's once again let's do diesel gens. We'll just do the HV version. All right, so there we go. Now it is receiving HV power, and we should be able to um, where is the recipe right here? So we need a circuit of two in here with the wood, and that will produce oil. Let's just pull that out, and there we go. So it is producing heavy oil, and it's using um, 192 EU per tick um, to run. And there we go. There's our heavy oil. Now, obviously, if you want, you can do multiple output hatches if you want. So let's see. Let's change this one. So there we go, now we have that. I'm going to actually remove that once this is finished. So as we can see, the heavy oil is going in this one. And if we want to do the creosote again, let's just do that. We'll wait for this to, and as we can see, the actual originally recipe is going faster because it is overclocked. It's H feed power now. All right, so we look, we have the heavy oil in there, and the creosote goes into this one. So you can actually mul do multiple inputs, multiple outputs uh, for these multi blocks. So that is pretty cool if you're changing, if you want to change the outputs. Now, one of the main, other than a heavy oil, another use for the Pyroless oven is um, it does have multiple like wood vinegar, wood gas. These do different things. You can get acetic acid from the wood vinegar at different ratios. As we can see, there's lots of different outputs. Um, but I found one of the more helpful ones is charcoal byproducts. So if you look at the charcoal byproducts in the station tower, you can get wood tar, wood vinegar, uh, wood gas. And yeah, like wood vinegar is acetic acid. Um, basically, you can get with the charcoal byproducts, you can get these the three different types of like you get all three. If that makes sense. So, like this wood with nitrogen gets you wood vinegar, or you could do wood to get the wood gas. But the or wood tar, but the charcoal byproducts gets you all three. Um, but yeah, that is it for the Pyroless Oven. Uh, pretty cool machine if you want to set up different um, production lines here. For you can use it for power if you want to do the heavy oil route and maybe do heavy fuel. Um, which you know you can do with you can get diesel from that or you can use it to just get the different uh, products like acetic acid um, which has definitely has some uses you can get ethanol and sulfuric acid um, and where is it yeah ethanol and then that uses to get uh, Satane boosted diesel. So, yeah. And biodiesel is another thing you can actually get from, I believe, um, from distilling all the different products that come out of the pyroless oven. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. So, thanks for watching and have a good one.